Shalom, everyone, and welcome back. In this week's Torah portion, it's alluded to the idea that when Yaakov was about to die, his son Yosef was a little upset at him. He was upset that he didn't bury his mother, Rachel, in the tomb of Machpelah, which was the ancestral burial place where everyone else was buried. Um, Abraham and Abraham and Sarah, Yitzchak and Rivka, and Yaakov and Leah. But unusually, Rachel, Rachel, it was buried in Beis Lechem, where she is to this day, in uh, on the roadside towards Hebron. And if you go to to uh, Israel, you can go to uh, Kever Rachel, the graveside of Rachel, and many many people are there all the time praying there. Why was she buried there? Yaakov alluded to the idea to Yosef that when the Jews are going to be led out of Israel into Babylonian exile, they will pass by her and she will pray for them. Yaakov, Yaakov alluded to this idea that Rachel will cry over her children and give them strength to go on in the bitter exile. In fact, this coming Tuesday, is the Tent of Tebes, which commemorates the siege of Jerusalem by the Babylonians some 2,500 years ago. This represents the idea of Jewish womenhood, that women are, are in a position to sacrifice for their families, to give up everything they have for their families, and the love that they have for their families is shown more by women, in fact, than by men. It is a known fact in Jewish law that women are exempt from positive commandments, which are time determined, such as prayer within a minion, uh, putting on tefillin, uh, hearing the shofar even, and uh, making the blessing on Lulav and Esra, and so many others. These are mitzvahs asay, shahazman grama, positive commands that are time determined. And of that, our sages tell us, nashim peturos, women are exempt. Why? because their main purpose, their main function is to serve their families and to take care of their families. No one loves a family more than the women do. No one can tell me that a father likes his children and takes care of his children more than his wife does. It's rare, it's very, very unusual. The power of women, that's why the women are called the Akeris Abayas, the foundation of the home, because they are in charge. It is their task in life to be in charge of the family. And indeed, Jewish life is not centered around the synagogue. It's centered around the home. The home is the foundation of Jewish life, and therefore, the woman is called the foundation of the home, the Akira Sabayas. It is she who makes the main decisions, she who implements them, and makes sure that the family is, is going on the proper way, that the children are educated properly in the Jewish traditions, that the home is a kosher home, that Shabbos is observed and the holidays observed in the home. And while the man is out there making a living and working hard, the woman is the one who is really working the hardest by making sure that Jewish life is sustained and strengthened within the level of the home. Indeed, every Jewish woman is like the Rachel, taking care of her children, watching over her children uh, until they are able to take care of themselves. So the idea of Jewish women is that really women are in charge of Jewish life, not men. The men, the women are in charge. The women are the main force behind Jewish life. And therefore, they are exempt from positive commandments, which are time determined. Um, and um, that's how Jewish, Jewish uh, existence goes. It's just how Jewish life uh, sees women in such an important, such a vital role. Shalom and have a good day.